Hello and welcome to HobbyKing.com. Stuart here for a Durafly Daily. Now, uh, this is the first um, big, big-ish uh, release from Durafly this year in 2015. It's actually something for an existing Durafly model. You see uh, in front of me here the uh, Mark 24. It's been out about a year or so now. And if you remember, originally uh, it was a Mark 24, of course, but it was shipped with a four-blade propeller. At the time, we said five blade propellers, as uh, is, would have been fully scale, was not possible. However, we have thought about that some more, and we've decided that, in fact, it is. Now, before we go any further into the details, one or two things of note, actually. With uh, the additional blade, the current draw is actually higher. Now, the stock speed controller in the Mark 24 from Durafly is a 35 amp. With this extra blade, however, the current draw does go up, so we do strongly recommend that you change your ESC for anything from a 45 to 55 amp ESC. We of course sell plenty at HobbyKing.com. Now, in addition to that, the fly footage that you'll see at the end of this Super Daily, that was actually flown on a 3S battery. It will fly on a 3 or 4S battery, um, but the 3S setup gives uh, basically the equivalent uh, performance that you've got on, that you've got on the standard uh, or the, sorry, the stock model on the four blade propeller originally. However, if you go to four cell, then you of course uh, get more power, more speed, and actually longer flight times because you're having to fly at full throttle less. So your amp draw technically is lower. So uh, it will fly uh, well on the free, but I actually recommend the four S if you're uh, thinking of running this setup and the airframe will of course carry the weight. So first of all, to use this new five blade setup on your Durafly Mark 24, what you actually first of all need to check, there's a picture of it now, is that your fuselage has the uh, multi mount, as we call it, as you can see in the image uh, you're seeing now. Now what that allows you to do is to fit longer can motors, and actually for the Mark 24 five blade setup, we have had to make a new motor, it's a longer can motor. Here is an image of it, now it's actually installed in this model, you'll have a look at it in a second. Um, for various reasons we've needed to do that and that's uh, more than likely why we didn't do it in the first place. But what this means is that you must check that you have this type of multi-mount in your fuselage because the first shipment of Mark 24s did not. Uh, but if you brought a Spitfire in the past year, you will have this type of mount. So anyway, what do you get? There are several options. I'm going to come back up here again. There are several options. Uh, you can get the complete set, first of all, which is the spinner, the hub, and the blades, and the shaft adapter. I'll show you those in more details in a minute. Or you can buy the, all these parts individually once you've brought the set and maybe you need some replacement parts. You can buy the blades as they are, you can buy the spinner on its own, and of course you can buy the motor on its own. Uh, all the uh, links to all the separate items will be underneath this video as well, so please check that out. So let's quickly, I can get the screwdriver, there it is. Let's quickly have a look uh, under the hood as it were. Okay, so the assembly is very, very straightforward. You've got one symbol, uh, single sorry, bolt holding the spinner on, and that actually connects to the uh, shaft nut, if you like, on the front here. Now, first of all, what you can, let me reposition myself, are we okay? Now what you can see first of all, uh, this uh, prop nut is uh, what the uh, bolt goes into. It keeps the spinner nice and firmly uh, on the entire assembly. Uh, beyond that you've got the five blade hub. Each individual blade is held down by a bolt. They're of course provided and, um, and securely locked in place. Behind that you've got the spinner back plate uh, with locating points as well. So your uh, prop assembly is always in the correct position. And then beyond that we've got the motors. So let's just quickly take the uh, nut off. So you see it's just very, very straightforward. And first of all, bring this back here. And I'm going to bring this back again. So that is the basic uh, five blade assembly. Like I said, each blade uh, is individual. So if you do happen to break an uh, individual blade, you can just buy the blade replacement set. Or even if the hub breaks, you can just buy the hub replacement set. And each uh, blade is secured with a nylock nut. So it's quite an involved assembly, but it's, uh, it has its benefits and it's much more easily maintained that way as well. Moving forward again, you'll see the uh, base plate of the spinner. If I just pop this off, it's a little bit tight, as it should be. You've got the uh, locating hex, as it were, which uh, goes onto the shaft. And then behind that, I think I have to 
lean forward a bit here, you'll see the specially made Durafly uh, motor specifically for this propeller. So again, if you have the uh, later version of the Spitfire with the multi-mount, you're perfectly uh, ready and able to fit this longer can motor. So that's essentially it. What we do have for you now, I'll just pop this back on. You can see just how easily it goes back together. So there we go. Put the prop nut on. I think you can see that there. Give it a few turns. Obviously you would tighten this and then the spinner goes back on. And then you, of course you screw it down with the nut. Now I will just say one last thing. Uh, we do have some footage of it flying. You'll see that in a second. This is of course a super daily. But uh, I would like to give thanks to Tom Hunt. Uh, for those of you in the uh, RC uh, Scout community, you would have heard of Tom Hunt already. He is a uh, brilliant aircraft engineer and a great Scout aficionado. This propeller was actually based on one of his original designs. He made uh, his own five-blade propeller um, for his Mark 24 when he brought it when it first came out. So impressed by that were we. I got into contact with him and we've been having a great relationship since then and this is actually based on his design. So full credit to Tom Hunt for the design of this. But what that means is that the Fireblade uh, Mark 24 Spitfire is available to everyone now. You can buy it in individual parts, as I said, or as a full package. Full details, of course, can be seen on the links below. Check out details on facebook.com slash Durafly. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Look out for a new Durafly release, the ME163. News on that later on. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.